welcome back to my channel and I'm here today with a story time for you. My Instagram and Facebook friends voted and decided that they wanted to hear the story about how I almost got abducted in Pompeii. So here we go. So here's the story. In August slash September, I took a trip to Italy. It's like my dream trip. Anyway, I took a trip to Italy for my birthday or whatever, and one of the stops on my trip was Pompeii. So for any of you all who have been to Pompeii before by way of traveling from Rome, you know that there is one way to get to Pompeii, and that is you take a train from Rome to Naples, and then Naples to Pompeii. So it was already a bit of a hectic day, because the day before, I found out that I should have booked my trains earlier than during the time that I was on the trip because on that day that I was going there were like all of three trains that were going um, from Naples to Pompeii so it wasn't that bad getting from Rome to Naples the issue was getting from Naples to Pompeii so I figured it out I booked it whatever and then I was just like okay so I have my train booked back and everything I'm cool I'm secure I'm straight, whatever. So I take a train from Rome to Pompeii and upon arrival, they drop us off at this train station. And this is like the smallest train station I've been to since I've been in Italy the whole time. So I'm like, okay, this shouldn't be hard to locate later, whatever. Let's just go, seems pretty straightforward. You walk up the street, there's signs that say like, this way to the archeological site or whatever. So I'm walking down the street to the archaeological site and there are tons, <laughs> tons. It's actually worse than Rome and like I have feelings about uh, the tourist culture in Rome but there are just tons of people on the street and they're just like, do you need to go to the archaeological site? Do you need to go to the ruins? Do you need to go to Pompeii? Are you looking for Pompeii? And they're all trying to get your attention. So at this point, I've mastered the art of not using my cell phone to navigate me. And that's probably where I went wrong in the first place because <laughs> it came back to bite me at the end. But I put my cell phone away, put it in my pocket, and I just went ahead and walked straight down that street and followed the signs because if they see you looking at your cell phone or your GPS, they assume that you're a tourist and then they like swarm you and they try to somehow sell you something and redirect you. And for me, I had already known that, like I booked this day to go to Pompeii because it was a special day. It's like every, I wanted to say first Sunday or second Sunday, I don't know, I have to look it up. But anyway, like it's one Sunday of the month, all archeological sites um, and cultural sites or whatever in the region were free. So I knew that I could get into Pompeii um, archeological site for free on this day. So I'm like, no, don't stop me. Don't try to sell me, skip the line or whatever. Cause I know it's free. So I don't need none of that. Just walking down the street. So here I am just just getting down the street, looking at the signs, walking around, like not really paying attention to my environment, which is the second mess up that I shouldn't have done. But I was just trying to get to this site. So I get there, I go in, it's free of course, they give me a free ticket, we go in. I enjoy Pompeii. Pompeii was very like hot, not that Italy wasn't hot, but it's something about being in a space that was like dug like into the ground where there's not really any trees or anything so the sun is just like bearing down on you the whole time and luckily they had like some type of plumbing so there was like water um, that you can refill your water bottles with so I kept refilling my water bottles and I'm like trying to trek through this place to see the rest of the site and to like enjoy myself and explore and etc and etc and etc. So I just chill, I find a tree somewhere like higher up in the site and I sit under it, I call my family and talk to them for a couple of hours, whatever, and then I get ready to go. When I got ready to go, I had about an hour and 20-ish minutes before my train left. So I was like, cool, this is more than enough time for me to leave, but I 
did not really remember how I got to the place that I got in and there are multiple entry and exit points at the site. So I started walking around trying to find an exit, which was really hard to find. So I'm walking around looking for the exit and I finally found a exit. It is not the same exit that I used to get in. Well, not the same entry point, but I thought maybe this will somehow like wrap me around and loop me back to how I got in, whatever. Maybe I should stop saying whatever because <laughs> wherever, whatever is the moral of how I always mess myself up when I'm just like, whatever. That's when I really mess myself up and I should really start paying attention to details. So I go down um, into this thing, like you climb down these steps and it takes you through this like mini museum and I was like, oh, this is cute, this is cute. Let me like kill some time in here, which I shouldn't have done because I didn't have enough time. But I'm like killing some time in this little thing and then looking at the museum shop and like fiddling around and I see it the exit exit so I'm like okay cool so I pop out of this exit and I'm like where the bleepity bleep am I so I'm like cool whatever I'm just gonna walk back in and I'm gonna walk down a little bit further I'm gonna pop out the next exit so I walk back in walk down a little bit further pop out the next exit I'm like this relatively looks like it's near where I came in, I think. But again, as I said before, when I was coming to the site, I was like trying to ignore my surroundings and just be lying straight to the place because I didn't want to be bothered. So I pop out, I'm like, okay, I'm committed to exiting this way. Uh, let me look at my phone. My phone has like 20% battery. So I'm just like, okay, um, sure. Well, let's just like turn it off and on just to see how long I need to go down the street. I'll turn my phone back off and when I get like two miles down, I'll turn it back on, whatever. I'm walking down the street enjoying the scenery, the nice breeze from the ocean. It's beautiful, it's cute. And I turn up on this street that looks relatively like something I recognize. So I'm like, I'm going the right way, right? Well, I wasn't sure. So I turn my GPS back on and then I type in Pompeii station and like look for train stations. Well, Google Maps pops up three possibilities and I always choose the first one because I'm thinking the first one is where I came from, right? Well, as I said earlier, I didn't turn my GPS on on my phone when I was walking away from the train station. So my phone had no recollection of where I was coming from initially anyway. Um, so that was my first mess up. So I just click on this first train station and I walk to that train station. It says it's 30 minutes away. Mind you, at this point, I have about 50 minutes to get to my train station before I get left. So I'm like, okay, um, sure, whatever. So I go to this train station and I instantly feel like this is not the right place. But then again, as I said, I wasn't paying attention in the first place when I left that train station. So I didn't know. Um, so there's like cars outside of this place, like kind of like old cars and there are people in them and they're just sitting in there listening to the radio. They look like they're trying to like, they look kind of like they're supposed to be taxis, but they actually don't look like taxis at all, which I know is contradictory, but like, you know what I mean, like when people are sitting outside of a place waiting for people, you think, okay, so y'all, like your transportation, whatever. So anyway, I go inside the train station and I'm looking at the, there's like boards on the wall and I'm like, okay, none of this looks familiar. Ooh, something to get me back to Naples. I need to get back to Naples. Um, I go in, there's like broken out windows and there's like all types of stuff that just does not look like a nice, fancy, nice train station that I assumed that I had came from in the first place. Also, there's like nobody here, um, no tourists here, like all locals. So I'm like, mm, is this <laughs> where I came from? And I'm like trying to read the boards on the wall and figure out, okay, when is the next train picking up to take anyone to Naples. Am I getting on the right train? Um, by the way, I was using a URL pass and if you know anything about URL passes, you can use them, regional trains is what they call them, without reservations and then you can use them on like the nicer trains with reservations and the reservations cost money. So I paid a reservation to take a nicer train back from Pompeii, right? 
Well, this train station is not the train station where that nicer train was stopping. I automatically feel slightly unsafe because this place has like windows busted out, graffiti all over the place. Um, there's not many people hanging around here but these cars with these men in the air and they don't really look like taxis but they kind of look like they're picking people up and I don't know why and this is starting to feel like an episode of Aiken. So let me just pull up my GPS and look for other trains. So I pull up my GPS and then I realized there are like three different train stations in Pompeii and I am not sure which one I was dropped off at. So I try to reroute and circle around to another train station. Well, it took me back to what appeared to be the same exact train station that I was at in the first place. Not the one that I came from, but the one that I just came from with the busted out windows and the graffiti. So I'm like, ugh, okay. And I'm looking at the time and the time is saying you have all of like 15 minutes before your train takes out. So now I'm panicking because I'm like, I'm gonna miss my train. I don't have time to like go another 30 minutes to a different train station, right? So I go outside and sometimes when I panic, I will admit that I don't make the greatest decisions. So I say, I just have to ask somebody. So who's the first person I see? Instead of asking someone who was standing on the platform, I decided to go outside and ask one of those creepy guys in the car. So there was two cars parked there. There's like the first car, there's this guy and he's been sitting in the car. And so I go up to the car. I know, I know, but I went up to the darn car anyway and I said, is this going to Naples? Do you know if this is going to Naples? And this guy who clearly did not speak English, which is fine, because we're in Italy and I don't expect him to speak English, um, just was like, yes, Naples, Naples. And I'm like, okay, and I'm like, but is it going to Naples? Like, are we going to Naples? Um, is this, is there a train who's gonna arrive here in a couple minutes that's gonna take me to Naples? Yes, Naples, Naples. Like, he's just like frustrated. And so I'm like, okay, cool, Naples, yay, I'm gonna go back inside now, whatever. And I kind of like pick up my phone and look at it and kind of stare. And the tr car behind him, there's this guy in there. And he like looks at me and he has this look on his face. And I don't know if I can completely depict this look, but it was the sketchiest crap ever. Like, this look said, Naples? Going to Naples? And I was like, uh, yeah, this train is going to Naples. I know where I am, right? This is going to Naples, right? And then this guy goes, Naples, you go to Naples. Come here, come here. And I'm like, uh, no, no, thank you. I know where I'm going. Naples, this train is going to Naples. It's coming in a couple minutes. I'm quiet. I'm fine. Whatever. I'm doing good. Let me walk back up in this train station. Whatever. I'm like, this is sketchy as F. I don't know. <laughs> like, my rule of thumb is, like, so I'm from Detroit, and my rule of thumb is anything that I would not do in Detroit, I'm not doing anywhere else. Minus the part where I walked up to the car, like I wouldn't have done that in Detroit. I don't know why I did that. But generally, like whatever I'm not doing in Detroit, like I damn sure I'm not doing it anywhere else. So if someone is like waving their hand to me and saying, come here, I can take you to Naples. I'm like, would I do this in Detroit? Hell no, I'm not getting in the car with someone I don't know. <laughs> like, who is not, clearly not like some type of like, you don't have taxi written on your car. Yeah, like I, I no. No, no, no. So I'm like, yeah, whatever, like me fleeing, but like gracefully fleeing, like, haha, like I'm just walking away, everything is fine, but I'm really like scared as crap and I'm sweating. Um, not just from the heat from the sun, but I'm sweating because I'm scared. Uh, so I go inside and I go, there's a guy sitting in this booth to the train. And he's like on the phone, listening to the radio, and I'm like knocking on the window, like, is this going to Naples? And he just looks at me, he's like, yeah, it's going to Naples, whatever, go away. And I'm like, why is everyone like, Where's the customer service? But whatever. I just like go back and I was like, okay, I really have to focus on this train board. And when I say train board, I just mean like there's a listing of all the trains, like times and all the locations of like where they're coming from and then where they're going and what times they like stop. So after like looking very closely at this, I realize, okay, there is a train 
for Naples, but it's not coming for another like 25 minutes. And like at this point, my train has already left. So whatever train is coming to this stop, I don't have a ticket. I don't know like what it is. All I have is this URL pass and I really hope that no one checks because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this train. Um, so yeah, I just go out and I start waiting for the train. And two things are happening at this point. One thing that is happening is there's this guy and he's trying to sell people stuff and he's walking around and I see him trying to sell stuff to the people who are waiting for the train. So I am kind of pacing back and forth to avoid him stopping at me. So as he gets closer to me, I'm like turning around and walking to the other side of like the path to wait for the trains and like I'm trying to avoid him. So like my second loop around, I come over here and in the doorway to like where you come outside to wait for the trains I notice a guy and this guy happens to be that guy that was in the second freaking car like trying to wave me over to come with him to get in his car so he could take me to Naples or wherever the bleep I'm supposed to go so I'm like okay like trying to pretend to like text and do whatever like you know to look unnoticeable even though I'm like the most noticeable person because first of all I'm like the only black person standing here period I'm clearly the only like the only American person standing here right now it, it was just awkward so he looks at me and he starts walking towards me and so I'm like okay uh let me walk away and he starts to follow me and I'm just like oh my god is this guy gonna like straight up try to kidnap me in front of everybody like what is going on and he like starts just like like raising his voice a bit and it's just like you're going to Naples right you need to go to Naples come with me come with me and I'm like uh no so I'm like here I am trying to like bury myself in the crowds of people so like if anything happens like there's a whole bunch of witnesses even though none of them know who the hell I am or can speak English or know whether or not I'm associated with this guy like I'm trying to be seen by everybody like this is my tactic at this point I'm like this is the way I'm going down like I need to go down with witnesses like I don't play those games whatever so I'm like walking around pacing around and he's like kind of following me up and down like around and like gesturing me to come with him come with him and then finally he like goes back to the doorway like he's leaving and I'm like oh, fine and he just like stands in the doorway and like peers at me and he's like and I'm just like sweating like I'm literally sweating and like about to cry because I'm like I can't go anywhere I don't know where I'm going I cannot miss this train so I can't run away from this train station because I need to get back to Naples so that I can get back to Rome otherwise I'm like royally fucked <laughs> like because I'm gonna miss my other train and that is the only train <laughs> and I've already paid for that train and so I'm like literally freaking out at this point um and eventually the guy gives up on trying to get at me or whatever the hell that he was up to and he walks away and at the same time that he walks away i hear from the skies above over the speaker like something 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 like whatever the time is pompeii to naples and i'm just like yes and it's like arriving in one minute and i'm just like yes <laughs> yes and this train pulls up <laughs> and when i tell you the train looks exactly like the train station in which it has graffiti all over it and the windows are like busted out of some of the like windows in this train and i'm just like this does not look anything like the nice air-conditioned beautiful train that I got off of when I arrived here in Pompeii. F-U-C-K. What the hell am I going to do? But knowing that um, the guy who probably was trying to abduct me is probably still waiting outside waiting for me to turn around and try to flee. I got my ass on that train and I said, wherever the fuck this train ends, excuse my language, wherever the heck this train it lands or like wherever it ends up at is where I'm getting off. So it better end up at Naples. And so 
first of all, it took like three times the time. Like it literally took me like 30 minutes to get from Naples to Pompeii on the first train to where it took like an hour and 15 minutes to get there on the, um, the train that picked me up, the sketchy train. Um, and it was not air conditioned. So it was hot on the train. And like, I get motion sickness really easy. So I was starting to get motion sickness from all of like the jarring. And it stopped at like all of these local stops, which like in retrospect, like if I wasn't freaking out was pretty cool because you got to see these little parts of cities on the way from Pompeii. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. I can see the ocean. I can see all these little cities um, that we stopped at. And it was really nice, except for the fact that I didn't know where the heck I was going. Luckily, the last stop was this place in Naples, and I got off the train, and it was just like another city full of graffiti, but that's another story for another time. I eventually ended up getting from Naples back to Rome, safe in one piece, because I'm here. But that's the story of how I almost got abducted by some creepy guy in a wannabe taxi car in Pompeii because I wasn't paying attention. So step one, here are the lessons learned. First of all, in my last video I talked about my itinerary and how I embed maps in my itinerary, right? So I've learned my lesson on one thing. When I travel to a place where I'm gonna be traveling through multiple cities and stopping at train stations, I need to make sure that I have the addresses of the train stations that I'm arriving at embedded into that itinerary because that was like the scariest like all jokes aside that was super scary like to think that I was going to miss the train to think that this guy was following me around this darn train station and like no one could really help me because no one was speaking English like I don't even want to know what would have happened if I would have gotten in the car with that guy, but I wouldn't have because don't do anything that you wouldn't do in Detroit, like lesson learned. But the other thing is that, yeah, make sure that those maps are embedded in that itinerary. And even if you don't use itineraries, make sure like you pin your location or somehow save your location when you get off of a train because some places just have multiple trains and if you've never been there before, you don't know where you're going back to. And if you run out of time, like, you can end up like me. So yeah, make sure that you try to save the locations that you are coming from when it comes to like train stations or any type of transportation. Save that information and just be prepared because you just don't want to end up lost and like slightly afraid and like can't communicate. So that was my story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will probably share the story about being locked in the Belgian castle at a later date. But you guys voted for this story and actually it's kind of like one of my favorite stories because like it was truly scary so like to laugh at it makes me feel a lot better about it. So yeah, thanks for watching my video and I will see you guys soon. Watch my past videos and subscribe to my channel. Bye!